Hi guys, and welcome to another kit review. Okay, so today we're having a look at another kit from MiniArt. The kit number is 35296. It is in 135th scale, and as you can see, it is their railway gondola, 16.5 to 18 tons. Okay, so it is the railway wagon, and also included in this kit are five figures plus eight fuel drums plus PE parts, uh, a length of railway track to display the wagon on, okay, and uh, a painting and markings for four different wagons, okay. So you do also get options as far as the wheels are concerned, as far as the uh, wagon attachments are concerned, early or late type. All right, so this is Fairly comprehensive and not a bad looking kit. Quite heavy in the box, so there's a lot of plastic in here. Okay, um, these five figures are part of um, their separate kit, which is kit number 35256, if I remember rightly. That is, um, what was it called? The German soldiers with fuel drums. So you get in that particular kit you get the five soldiers plus two fuel drums you also get six fuel drums from mini arts other kit which is the german 200 liter fuel drum kit which has uh 12 fuel drums in it and the kit number for that is three double five nine seven okay so literally what you have here is three kits in one box which is not a bad deal this one cost me around fifty dollars australian and they normally retail for anywhere from 60 to 70 75 dollars australian so i thought that was a pretty good bargain getting it for 50. okay so let's have a look as you can see you have your wagon this here is also a mini art kit i've done a review on that one this looks to be one of their Russian flat wagons, which is also available. So, subtle advertising for their other kits. And as you can see, you've got the fuel guys loading up the wagon. Okay, one guy's taking them off, and the other guys are just pushing the drums in. Alright, so, that's the front. Let's have a look at the sides. So, on the side, Ukrainian, Russian, English, just a usual unassembled plastic model kit. Blue and paint not included, 14 plus warnings, mini arts address in the Ukraine and the copyright 2019. And on the other side, these are the four color schemes and markings that you can choose for this wagon. Of course, literally, these wagons we use throughout Europe, so you could literally use these anywhere and paint them in almost any color okay all right so that's the box that's what it looks like on the outside let's have a look and see what's on the inside all right put that away and as usual with mini art one a big bag of sprues and there are a lot of duplicates i believe there's something like 44 sprues in this so a lot of duplicates that is your photo etch in the little card box and there's your decals and uh, shortly we'll have a look at the sprues and as usual color instructions from mini art okay so let's get rid of the box and in a second we'll have a look at the instructions Okay, so let's have a look at the instructions. Fairly straightforward, beautiful colour as usual with Mini Art. They always put the front covers are in and back covers are in colour. So this is one of your wagon colour schemes, and appears to be, I would say, Polish. But that we'll have to check. Okay, as you can see, highly detailed. Doors can be posed, open or closed. Installed on European or Russian gauge. 
the track that you get with this wagon is European gauge so if you want Russian you're going to have to buy their Russian gauge workable wheels which just means they go around photo wedge parts vehicle sheet for four variants railway track included European eight fuel drums five figures okay so pretty much exactly what you see on the cover let's have a look inside and yes that is a Polish wagon so end of the 1930s so literally you could use this wagon um, as a diorama in invasion of Poland the next one in and you'll see it has coal in it this is what these wagons were used for primarily transporting coal this is Mariupol summer 1941 Stalin railway so this is a Russian one okay if you're going to make this a Russian one you will need mini arts Russian gauge railway track as it says down the bottom here the next one is Deutsche Reichsbahn okay 43 to 44 and Deutsche Reichsbahn Germany 1945 okay as you can see for this one it's a probably captured uh, Russian or something like this where they've painted out all the various markings in green and over painted it in Deutsche Reichsbahn okay so there we have it and as you can see early tight wheels late tight wheels late tight wheels are solids early type are open spoke okay there's also slight changes in the attachments between early and late so okay that's your variance so to speak of the wagons so let's have a look and see how you build this typical mini art full layout of the spruce as you can see you have two of these two 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 four this is your suspension four and four so spoke wheels solid wheels two of these okay these are your um, attachment bars for the wagon railway track plus attachments etc etc four six six drums three ends this is your figures all right so like i said there is uh, a lot of sprues and a lot of parts some very fine pe parts and a fairly comprehensive uh deagle sheet for this all right so first up let's have a look so first construction is literally the frame of the wagon fairly straightforward okay once you've got the frame all right which is your main bogies etc put the wheels together this is your first choice solids or um, spoked my suggestion would be to first build the railway track so that you can get the wheels sitting properly on the track first before you glue them then you've got your main frames your cross beams which you've just constructed in the first couple of steps okay suspension again you have a choice early or late not a great deal of difference but just in the mounts okay so you do have two versions in this early version late version carry on with constructing the main frame okay main base goes on the frame fairly straightforward fairly easy so far same again early wheel type late wheel type so the instructions are quite clear as to how you build this depending on what type you want early and late wheels and then we get to constructing the sides with the side bracing okay so these are your sides these are your bracing okay as you said repeat on back side so basically 
you're constructing the box section of the wagon okay next step here you have your connections and again a choice between how you want it to look so there's different types of connections for late or early construction the railway track and I would definitely build that first okay and then the wagon just goes on the track fairly simple fairly straightforward not a great deal to it this piece of chain here is literally 18 millimeters long it does say you need to build this yourself so if you have a piece of chain lying around and most of us do somewhere from one model kit or another easy fix easy fix okay then you get to constructing the fuel drums it does say to cut out your own pieces of timber for uh, loading the fuel drums onto the wagon you do get four suggested color schemes that is standard uh, Fairmark plain zinc colored and different types that's a civilian color this would probably be a uh, Russian or old German style color call outs here Vallejo Mr. Color Life Color Tamiya AK Real Color Mission Models this is your Ukrainian name for the color and your English name all right so fairly straightforward this is an easy construct the PE parts are literally just certain sections as far as the latches are concerned okay and on the connections but nothing that is too serious and then we get to the basic layout this is your figure painting and construction okay so you don't necessarily have to use these figures in this kit you can use them anywhere same goes for the fuel drums okay it's always handy to have a few fuel drums lying around and uh, if you wanted to you could certainly adapt this wagon to literally any use that you can think of okay so that's it fairly straightforward a bit of advertising for their dead end track Russian gauge pedestrian bridge which unfortunately you've got a pedestrian bridge but no railway station to mount it on water crane semaphore and on the back a little bit more advertising for their 18 ton NTV which uh, I've done a review on and the Soviet railway flatbed okay which I don't have and at this stage have no intention of picking up all right so that's the instructions in a second we'll have a look at the decals and carry on from there so let's have a look at the decals first there we go it's a long way away isn't it let's bring her up closer then okay so as you can see fairly comprehensive Deutsche Reichsbahn DR okay so yes you do have your Russian and you do have your Polish markings for the wagon okay so not haven't seen one in real life I can't say whether these are accurate or not but the register is good and they do fit, look fairly comprehensive as far as the wagons are concerned of course if you can and I've had a look on online there isn't much as far as um, actual photos of these particular wagons it's very difficult to actually find any real references to railway wagons on the internet from World War II or previous so maybe that's a scope there for someone to um, you know start a new website or something okay so that's the decals 
Next thing I'll show you is the, oops, sorry, that was a bit bright, wasn't it? Okay, so this is your photo etch, and it is primarily just the latches on the doors of the wagon. So, no real small parts apart from those two little ones here and those. So, not a difficult thing, okay? And Mini Art does keep these in a uh, little cardboard sleeve so that they don't get damaged. All right, so I will give you a shot of the decals and the oh, it keeps getting flashy. Sorry, guys, and the photo etch, and then we'll have a look at the actual sprues of this thing. Okay, so bear with me, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so by my count, there is uh, 42, I did say around 44, there's 42 sprues in this kit, or a lot of duplicates. There are four spoke wheel ones and four solids, so I'll put one there, one there, and these ones can go back in the box. All right, so let's have a look. These are your choice of wheels. That's the early type and the late type. Okay, let's have a look at the late type. Fairly plain disc. There's your suspension. And I'll bring this one up so you can see the difference. All right, so the spokes are really nice. The attachment points on these sprues, as you can see, they're quite thin to make it easier to get off without damaging anything. So there's your choice. The definition on the wheels is really nice. And also on the leaf springs. If I hold these up here, you can see the difference of the early type and the late type mounts. Okay, so that's one of the choices that you get. And that's something you have to make a decision on fairly early in the build. All right, so that's your wheels. So then you get four of these and four of these. Okay. So these are just your braces for under the wagon. Fairly straightforward. Not much as far as detail on those apart from some bolts. And this one here is your connections between wagons. Okay. Fairly straightforward. As, a, as you can see, all the connections, even for a little part like that, are quite thin making it much easier to get off without damaging and very little in fact a little bit of cleanup on the mold line which is nothing unusual but okay no major flash all right so that's fairly good i will get rid of these Four of these, all the same. Okay, as you can see, these are your buffers for the end, and also your mounts for the bogies, etc. Okay, so really nice detail, really sharp. Love the detail of the spring inside the. the Okay, buffer, stop there, bolt detail on there, really nice, and again, connections for the hook, fairly small, and no major flash that I can see, alright, really nice and clean, okay, really nice and clean. Okay, so, 
We'll put those aside. And next we will have a look at these. So these are just a couple of frame parts for the wagon and an extended. So this goes down the side of the wagon. It does have multiple connections, so it will be tricky to get off, but it shouldn't be too difficult. Some nice, sorry, get that in focus, get that out of the way. Bolt detail on there. So the detail is quite crisp. That will be a challenge because of the angle to get that off clean. But Mini Art has done its best to make the connections from the sprue small enough not to damage anything while you're getting it off. So that I like. Okay, so that's those. those let's have a look at these two as you can see these are your main ends this is where your buffer stop goes on the end of the wagon plus um, bracing for underneath so fairly straightforward not much detail on that to look at a lot of connections here which will take some care to remove but overall see there's a lot there to cut through but that's to make sure that the whole thing is straight and perfectly formed so mini heart has done its best to give us a really nice highly detailed model Okay, so that is most of the smaller parts, apart from, again, these two. Okay, so there's a lot of duplicates. These are your cross beams, etc. for the bottom of the wagon. And that's where most of your detail is going. The bottom of the wagon, that you won't see anyway. And also the bracing for inside the sides. But even so, there's cleanup, as you can see, along the mold line. A little bit of bolt detail, which will be tricky to clean. But it shouldn't be too hard. There's no major flash. That's the usual cleanup along the, where the system, two sides of the mold are squashed together. All right. And that's not that bad on this model. Right, so what's next is the main part, two sprues again. So like I said, there's a lot of duplicates. And as you can see, this is the bottom of the wagon, okay? Main frame on the side, cross beams. This is the center section, which is, I would say, brakes, if it had brakes or adjustments whatever it is okay axle connections into wagon so you do get a choice between what style between early and late etc russian or otherwise these are your actual buffer stops which will be not that hard to get off but they will need to be uh, sanded down to give a nice flat surface this is a hook section that goes underneath so let's have a look see what we've got okay so there is a very fine I'm not sure if I can show you can see it in the stills you'll see it 
very fine wood grain texture there you go really nice wood grain texture you remember in 35th scale a lot of the wood grain texture that we see on items is accentuated more than it should be this is very fine very nicely done to scale i would say really nice crisp bolt detail on the framework okay so it's really well done there is a lot of parts to this kit but and a lot of connections to cut through but the detail is really nice and well worth having this would be a really nice wagon to have in your collection okay so that is the main base of the wagon not much to see on the other side again wood grain texture okay so it's really nice that the fact they put wood grain texture on top and bottom of this plus bolt details where the bottom framework is actually bolted through the wood okay that is a really nice touch okay so that's the bottom Next, we've got two sprues again, exactly the same. These are your sides and door. Again, okay, don't know if you can see it. It is quite fine. There's your wood grain texture, okay? Really nice, nicely done, very finely done. Should come up a treat with a nice bit of coloring and a wash over top of that just to highlight the joins and the grain really nice it's beautifully done okay so they put a lot of effort into this as you can see there's your beam that goes along and the door slides backwards and forwards well it doesn't slide i'm not sure if you can actually make it slide but it's definitely, you can have it open or closed. Okay, and on the other side, again, all right, bolts showing the attachment points for the inside bracing and really nice, fine wood grain, right? So I am impressed with this. This is a really nice looking railway wagon. so that is the wagon so next we'll have a look at something i've already covered in one of my other reviews but we'll have a look at it anyway you get four sprues this is your track european of course so the standard track that mini art includes with its railway rolling stock is european and there's your sleepers each sleeper has an individual wood grain texture railway lines okay these are the bolts he bolt the railway line down with and your connectors so really nicely done really nicely molded and because each of those sleepers has an individual texture you can mix and match as you please and yes you do get four of those right so next we'll have a look at the first accessory which is I'll show you 
six of those and three of those. So we'll keep one of those and one of those and get rid of the rest. And this, of course, is your fuel drums from kit number three, five, five, nine, seven, which came out in 2019. So this is half of that kit, six fuel drums from that kit. As you can see, you get the two halves, the classic German 200 litre all right, frames that go around the middle here to protect the drum from crushing, make it easier to stack it, and of course, your ends okay and the ends do have and well, i better turn it around so you can see it okay so they do have various writing on the ends depending on what particular branch of service it's going to be attached to plus a hand pump okay so yes you do get hand pumps so you don't necessarily have to use this particular accessory in this kit you can use it in any world war ii german diorama or just as an accessory on one of your vehicles okay so that's the fuel drums Let's have a look at the crew. So, there's your crew. And this is from uh, kit number 35256. This came out in 2017, I believe. And with this, you get two more fuel drums and five crew. All right, so let's have a look at these guys. Okay, so as you can see already, there is a little bit of flash on these figures around the heads, around the upper bodies. Okay, same for this guy and around the hands. So there's flash on the figures, although there was no flash on the main model itself, there is flash on the mold lines. On the arms around the heads okay which will need clean up so a bit of clean up on the figures around the hands etc but the fact that they get and there's an obvious one right there you get separate caps so you can mix and match separate arms okay in some cases separate hands so you can alter these slightly to suit. So that's pretty good. Otherwise, apart from the flash, the uniform detail is really fairly crisp. The folds in the uniform. Okay. Yes, there's a bit of cleanup around the hands especially. And around the heads. But the detail overall is really nice. And... Yeah, put the extra effort in, clean them up, and they'll come up really sharp. Okay, so that, I believe, is, yes, that is the last sprue. For this particular model okay so that is in the arts railway gondola 16 and a half to 18 ton these were in use from the early 1930s up until well after the war especially considering the damage 
to uh, the German infrastructure during the war. Any rolling stock that was still moving or could be fixed was used. These would have been used well into the 50s, probably even the 60s, until they fell apart. Okay, so there you have it, guys. That's, um, as I said, Mini Arts Railway Gondola. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this review. I hope, as usual, you got something from it. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And until next time, take it easy. And I'll see you later.